I'm all bundled up because it's freezing out here and you guys are probably like, where the heck is she? Well, I just wanted to show you guys what Christopher and I have been working on and it's super exciting and it's a long story, but let me tell you. So Christopher and I have been thinking for a while about changing our haunt and it's only because we've been doing the same theme for a couple years and we wanted to switch it up. So, we were thinking of doing an old ghost western town, and it so happens that I got to go to Arizona for Thanksgiving, and we got to go to like old Tucson studios, and we got to go to a couple different places that they have a bunch of western stuff, and uh, we're currently out of work, so we had applied for some set dressing stuff, and one of the ads that I responded to was building an old western town and um, we got a call from the guy and then never heard back from him again so we kind of just forgot about it. Went to Tucson, took a bunch of pictures for reference for our own ghost town and then like once we got back we heard uh, we got an email from the guy saying, hey, you guys still interested in this? And he called us and we came and checked out the area. And it's a campsite. It's got over 200 acres of, you know, ropes, cores, basketball, go-karts, pools, archery, all that kind of stuff. And we have been busy busting out a bank. We're going to build a mine a general store, a jail, and then we're going to build a huge gold panning sluice with a water wheel and a tower and all that kind of stuff. But since we haven't been making videos, that's because we have been doing this. All right, so this is what we have been working on. Oh, sorry, I got gloves on because I'm freezing my buns off. All right, so this is our Wells Fargo and Co. Bank. Now the building, it used to be just this kind of siding. You guys see that? So nothing but this kind of siding, a little bit of trim up top. And uh, sorry, the sun hasn't quite come up yet over the hill. But this is all, Christopher and I built this deck and then aged it. Um, this deck was not here before. Um, we put all of these paneling on. These are actually fence boards that I aged and painted to look older. There's some trim. Um, the window was a huge window. Sorry, I almost fell off the deck. Um, it was a huge hole and we went ahead and covered it up. And nothing, absolutely nothing on this building is straight or square. So this is a close-up of the window that Christopher built and I aged painted it. This is a kind of a plexiglass or some kind of a plastic that we sanded to make it look more frosted and old. There's the window. So here's the deck and the stairs. Here's another window. And it's cold and windy today. We've been fighting rain. This project has actually taken us a lot longer because it's been so rainy here in California. But there's a here's a close up of the sign that I made and aged. Today we are going to finish the top. It just needs to get a cap on it and then we're going to put some decorative corbels up there. And we didn't make the trash can. <laughs> just kidding. And then here is a horse tie off and a feeding trough that we made as well. I tied the rope on there like that, fancy. So, just an idea of what we've been up to. And give you guys some ideas if any of you guys are interested in ever doing like a ghost town or anything like that. But we've got a lot more stuff 
coming. the day and we finished well kind of Christopher is doing some last finishing touches on the door right here but here is the finished product Sun is just about to go down. There's a feeding trough. Oh, am I supposed to do this horizontally? What? 